welcome to my youtube channel Modi mechanical engineering tutorials so in my previous lecture I already describing the classification of the fits and types of fits and that will be basically clearance fit transition fit and interference fit so today in this lecture I would like to explain about only a clearance fit it will be applications for the assembly of the two components so let us see the basic requirements of the clearance fit and that will be in a clearance fit the shaft is always smaller than the hole so just you can concentrate over here that will be the two different systems or you can say things so first that will be the hole system and second one that will be the shaft system so suppose that will be a member A and that will be the member B so both are assemble together so that will be providing some of the clearance so just you can see over here that will be the whole system and shaft system so for the clearance fit what it indicates the shaft is always smaller than the hole so the size of that particular shaft that will be always smaller than than the size of the hole so there will be always making a sum of the clearance just you can see so that will be called as a maximum clearance if that will be the size of the shaft so that will be providing a minimum clearance but in case of any clearance fits that will be the necessary conditions shaft is always smaller than the hole so what happen a positive allowance exists between the largest possible shaft and the smallest possible hole when the shaft and the hole are at their maximum metal conditions so just you can see this one it will be called as a shaft tolerance so this distance that will be called as a shaft tolerance and this one from both the end if it will be considering the this end so that will be making a maximum clearance between hole and sub if you can considering this point so that will be the minimum clearance so basically this one hatch line you can find so that will be providing the tolerance for manufacturing of the products for the hole tolerance so that will be nothing but all the clearance fit such kind of assembly of the parts you can find it so basically what you remember the shaft is always smaller than the whole system so that will be called as a clearance fit so once again you can concentrate onto this geometry of the clearance fit so just you can find so this one is the tolerance zone of a hole and that will be entirely above the shaft system so that will be only happening into the clearance fit now i would like to explaining maximum clearance and a minimum clearance so the maximum clearance just you can find so it is the difference the minimum size of the shaft and the maximum size of the hole so that will be the minimum size of the shaft and maximum size of the sole so that will be providing a maximum clearance and for the minimum clearance as you can see the difference between the maximum size of the shaft and the maximum size of the hole so that will be providing a minimum clearance and that will be representing as a zero line or you can say reference line now according to the classification of the fits in case of the clearance fit that will be sub classified as a sliding fit and running fit so let us see in detail for the sliding fit and running fit for the sliding fit generally the sliding fit has a very small clearance and the minimum clearance being zero so you can easily fit both the components by sliding effect to each other so generally it is used where the matting parts are required to be moved slowly in the relation to the each other so basically in the machine shops 
spindle of the tailstock that will be the application of sliding feed then one more the drilling machine spindle quill so that will be only assemble together by the application of the sliding feed so that component it will be easily fitted into the another components so that will be called as a examples of a sliding fit second one running fit so the clearance is provided a sufficient space for the lubrication fin between the matting friction surfaces so the examples of the running fits and that will be the gearbox bearings crankshafts in their main bearings so that will be providing some of the passage for passing of that particular the lubrications or you can say oil or grease to complete the applications so these two are the fits or you can say the sub types of the clearance fit first that will be the sliding fit second one that will be the running fit with their real examples for the sliding fits that will be the spindle of tail stocks and for running fits crank shaft in their main bearings so if you like this then subscribe and share thank you very much